Naki, congratulations. Two year contract until June 2025. How does that feel? Yeah, no, it's amazing. I, you know, I'm really happy. Glad to get it sorted. Um, you know, now looking forward to some, some really good times ahead. Eight goals, three assists. You must be very pleased with your form this season. Yeah, I am. You know, I, I'm very critical of myself. I do feel like I could have more or have contributed more in some way, shape, or form. But it's been a good start um, for myself and a few others. So, you know, happy the way things have gone, yeah. Nigel's always very complimentary about your attitude in particular, whether it's training, whether it's on the bench when you're not starting. That mindset, does that help you when actually you come back into the team and perform so well? I, maybe, uh, yeah, I'm sure it, it does have a, a big impact. Um, I don't really switch too far off, even when times aren't going too well. Even for this season, it was a, a kind of a rocky start for me as an individual. I, I felt like it was, only, it was only going to go one way for myself, and that was probably towards the exit door. But I, I always stayed positive. It was always something I wanted to change. You know, and thankfully the gaffer gave me a chance and, and, and I was able to take it. So being in a, a good positive space um, and looking at, you know, football and life in that manner, you know, I think things come around in full circle and, and now I'm reaping the rewards. Another two and a half years to go. Um, what do you want to achieve in the next two and a half years, both for yourself and for Bristol City? Yeah, I think the goal remains the same. Um, you know, it's been it's been a bit of a tough period um, since I've joined. Um, a bit of a roller coaster ride in terms of, of how we've looked as individuals. I think the, the end goal is still to get to the promised land, to still have an important part um, to play for this football club and trying to get to the Premier League. But ultimately, um, I think we need to be more focused probably in the present. And that's looking up the table, that's becoming more consistent, that's you know being able to, to consistently lead as, a, and as, a, as an experienced player and an important individual on the side. And, you know, for from a probably more of a greedy aspect, to continue to score goals and, and and do as well as I can as an individual, and that's that's only going to help us as a as a um, as a team. And you've certainly contributed this season to have that security for yourself. Looking forward, um, that's quite an important thing, isn't it? Yeah, and in, in football, um, you know, you, you do have that bit of uncertainty. Um, uh, I know as you get a bit older in football. Things you know, contracts and, and 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 the future becomes a bit more uncertain. But to to be having to have had these conversations at this stage, um, you know, I do feel is a is a, a great reward for for how I've performed, how I've carried myself in the, in the, in the past months, and what I you know still have to offer this football club. So, yeah, delighted to to finally have that sorted, and you know, I'm I'm in a great place mentally, and and I think you know being able to get this sorted now just just helps that much more. Talk to us about the relationship with the likes of Tommy Conway. And with Tommy in particular, he seems to have a really good relationship on the field, also off the field, things like table tennis, etc. That relationship with Tommy and the younger lads, talk us through that. Yeah, what, what's good about this group is we, you know, we, we all have a very good relationship. I mean, in football, you know, it, it's quite fast paced, it comes and it goes, people come in your life and leave, and that's how football goes. But I feel like we have a we have a really good bond, probably the best group since I've been in, in terms of wanting the same thing, and that's to to move forward. Even though it kind of probably isn't showing 100% on the pitch that it looks that way, but I think the mentality, the group, the continuity, the message from the hierarchy above is 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 pointing in that direction. And you know, relationships are key. You know, I, I and you know, you picked out Tommy there. I, yes, I do have a really good relationship with him off the pitch only pitch. I see myself as somebody who could probably help him, guide him, because ultimately he's going to help me as well and, you know, relationship, partnerships. But I have that with other players, you know, Andy Weiman, a key player, Antoine Semenyo, Alex Scott, a lot of young players. The group is very much blended um, and, you know, I, I think that has a, a big benefit for the team, for the squad, for the football club. And I'm, you know, very optimistic things will continue to get better and the young players will continue to flourish. And they're snapping at your heels, aren't they? Like Sir Sam Bell, Tommy Antoine, as you say. As I only call you a more experienced player, Naki. Um, does that keep you on your toes? Does that keep you feeling that you need to be stay sharp? Of course, of course. Um, you know, to have a, a, a talent 
as like you mentioned us there and, and Antoine Semenya less. We can talk about Sam Bell as well, who, who's fully deserving to be in amongst the squad. He's going to continue to get opportunities. He's going to continue to push me, the likes of Tommy. You know, we saw that yesterday in his performance, scoring goals continuously. Um, and that's what you have to do. You know, he's still learning his, his trade. He's got so so much so much more to come. And for me, I you know, who has this shirt at the minute, I have to keep it. Having that competitive nature, having that um, having that. Um, that competitive edge is, is what's going to help us thrive and stay. And for Antoine, someone who I think highly of, uh, somebody I see um, a huge, huge amount of credit. You know, I kind of have this shirt in front of him at the minute and, you know, that just goes to show you what we have in the squad and the depth and I have to conti continue to do what I'm doing. But uh, as well, I, I want them to thrive, I want them to do well because they're all good they're kids, they'll all learn their trade and, and they're all deserving to be at this level and, and potentially beyond. You seem to really enjoy your football at the moment and certainly playing at Ashton Gate with the fans shouting your song and uh, cheering you on. Um, how does that feel when you're playing in front of... Yeah, Atlanta no, it's, it's, it's hard to put into words, but it's, it is the best part of football. Um, you know, that feeling of, of scoring and, you know, having the fans celebrating, calling your name. You know, um, it's kind of like a high you get from it and, and it's amazing and you can't take it for granted because you know, these things don't last forever, but to be in the space of me mentally, physically, at this stage in my career, I still feel like I have so much more to offer, to be rewarded with the contract. You know, I think um, you still, I'm still got so much more to give. And, you know, I'm gonna continue to keep working hard and, and, and trying to help this side and try and achieve my individual, individual goals as well, because you have to have that, you know, greedy nature to be successful as a forward. And, and things look upwards, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, mate.